Why silicon? What's so unique or special about silicon when it comes to toys? Well, for toys, uh, because it it's uh, bio compatible, mm -hmm. it's inert, um, so there's no to make them softer. You're not putting in toxic chemicals like with vinyl. Mm. Uh, PVC is the kind of piping that you find at Home Depot or the hardware store. Mm. And to make PVC soft, they add plasticizers, which are those uh, smelly chemicals that ooze out of it over time. Mm. That's why they get they shrink down and they get harder. Mm. Silicon doesn't require that to be okay. soft. Um, warms up to your body quickly, holds mm. the heat. Mm -hmm. They're comfortable. You can sterilize them and wash them. Mm. And I, I definitely want to talk about yeah. that. They hold up to grease. Which is, you know, Crisco and Visting and... So with, with silicon, like, my understanding is, now this is what I've been teaching, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that basically you can use pretty much any lube with a silicon toy, um, but you need to be careful with some of the silicon lubes, is that correct? Uh, so I go back and forth, mm. and this is complicated by the fact that there are so many different silicone lubes out there, and they put... Any, all kinds of stuff in them, and it's so impossible for a toy maker, mm. any toy maker, to be testing all of these chemicals. And if, if you've ever taken a chemistry class, you know that when you combine chemicals, they can often together work much differently than separately. Mm. So it, it's, it's near impossible for me to test every loop. Mm. I haven't had any uh, direct feedback that's been traceable directly to silicone lubes. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually something else like contact with vinyl toys or um, improper storage um, mm. that creates the damage to the toy. Mm -hmm. um, I have not been able to prove that yet, um, but I'm always researching and taking feedback. Okay. Um, all those silicone, um, the molecules in those lubes, mm. they, so seem, they seem okay. But they don't dissolve or cause pitting or damage the toy in any way? Not that I've been able to prove. Okay. Yeah. If somebody can come to me and help me, you know, for, for community mm. information, I would love to do some research, you know. Okay. Ex lube, you know. Now with the the um the silicon, now I'm guilty of this. I've I've often used the term medical grade silicon. Mm -hmm. Um but is I understand that that may not be a fact. Or can you can you help me understand the 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 nature of the silicon in that it's safe to go inside the body. Yeah. So on the silicone lubes, I have a great FAQ on my site about lubes that mm -hmm. I always continually update. Mm -hmm. So if there's new information, that will be on the site. Cool. And so that just makes me think of that because um, I also talk about medical grade versus platinum grade mm -hmm. because it's been coming up um, a lot over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing a, a huge influx of um, silicone toys on the market. We're, all the other mainstream companies are finally getting wise to silicone mm. um, and, the, and the consumer's mindset's changed enough that they're willing to spend the extra money mm -hmm. for silicone. Yeah. Um, so a lot of them aren't aware and they use medical grade. I don't think because they're intentionally trying to sell something that they know is not true, but I think because I get the questions from my customers, they want medical grade because mm. what they're really asking for is they want the safest. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so they think medical grade is the is mm. the standard, which it is, I guess. But in all honesty, there's no medical grade silicone that you can use to make toys. Mm. The casting and the and the processing. Mm. Um, what they're what they really should be saying is platinum grade. Okay. And so they should be saying one hundred percent platinum grade. So what's platinum grade silicone? So all all medical grade silicones are platinum grade silicone but only very few platinum grade silicones go through the certification to become medical grade. Okay. And that would require um, all the equipment that's used to process the silicone has to be certified medical grade. All the lubricants in the machinery and the tubing has to be certified medical grade and the, the detergents to clean the molds or whatever mm -hmm. in that studio. Um, you might be able to use a medical grade silicone, but once you introduce pigments into it, mm -hmm. I don't know of any pigment that's medical grade certified. Yeah, yeah. You know, colorants and all of mm -hmm. that stuff, mold release agents. Yeah. Um, so using saying that they're medical grade silicone, I would urge people to contact that manufacturer and you know ask what type of silicone it is. If it's 100% platinum grade, then you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's something that I've brought up a number of times is that. I've 
you know, within my work as a doctor, I, I've seen people with burns to, you know, to the to the anal canal after using a cheap toy, and it's it's actually a, like a chemical burn. Yeah. And they're like the anatomy of the ass is that there is no pain receptors beyond, you know, about you know that far, an inch or an inch or two into the into the barn, you know, anatomically variations uh, withheld. But um, and so you could potentially damage yourself if you're using toys that are of a grade that are not designed for internal insertion. Yep, I love that you're a doctor because I can, I can talk to you about things that I can't talk to many people about. Yeah, but sure. there's also the the fact that the rectum is its purpose is to extract the last remaining uh, water mm. from your feces, mm. right? To compact it. So in a sense, you're putting you're putting a chemical chemical laden toy right there where its its job is to extract that. So it's actually mm. not just burning the rectum, but it's introducing all those chemicals into your bloodstream. Mm. And a lot of those were known to be endocrine dis disruptors, mm. the phthalates and all that. And yeah. they went to moving to get all the phthalates out, but mm. it doesn't mean it's any safer. And I think that's a, that's a really important thing. Like within medicine, we we use for people who can't swallow or babies who can't swallow, we will often put medications in through the butt. Yeah. And the reason for that is because it's absorbed and it, and it misses a, a pass through the liver. Um, and that's a really important thing. So if you've got something that's that's toxic or potentially harmful, it's going to miss out on that chance to be removed by the liver. So. You, it's not just a little bit toxic, it could be a lot of bit toxic. Um, and that's why I, I really do recommend that if you're gonna be inserting something inside your body, you have to feel confident that it's it's not gonna cause harm. Um, so it's, it's exciting that you've kind of led that pathway forward for people to be able to and feel confident that they're using a, a toy that's, that's safe. That was part of the pioneering work I had to do for my own brand mm. was to get people to part with two hundred dollars for a toy. Mm. You know, is the part of that was the education, which now um, other companies are now able to to come in and benefit from that. I mm. started changing that industry and the way we think about play mm. and investing in our health. You mm. know, um, but I don't want to just to go back just a half step, I don't want to make it sound like you absolutely have to buy silicone toys because not everyone can afford mm -hmm. pure silicone toys. Mm -hmm. um, I've always advocated there's a place for those cheaper materials because people might be just embarking and they're on their journey and they grow, th they'll, they'll end up growing through three or four sizes and mm -hmm. they'll end up wasting a lot of money. Um, so I, I actually do advocate going with the cheaper materials but always putting a rubber on it or two. Mm -hmm. You know, do never, never use them just bare. Yeah. So you're using a, a, a you know, a layer of latex yeah. to protect against the, the chemicals being extracted. And if you're latex intolerant, you've got other, yeah, you can use other the, condoms, but the, the condoms that are like, you know, they're, they're interesting, the, the texture of those, they don't stretch as much.